Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I am bringing to you another She Reach Truth um, video and it's not going to be an unboxing. We are already on day two of the new Ephesians book, but I wanted to share a little bit of how I study through it. That way you guys can kind of get a glimpse at that. I know a lot of you have used my... Um, my code and my referral code in order to get your She Reads Truth studies. I so appreciate you guys. That is amazing. Um, it allows me to continue to get She Reads Truth resources so I can continue to share with you guys. So I so appreciate you for that. But let me show you what kind of came with it. So as you know, I am a She Reads Truth subscriber. And so um, this month I got For You Are Saved by Grace Through Faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift, not from works, so that no one can boast. Ephesians chapter 2, 8 and 9. So this is kind of like the card. And I love these because you can kind of, if you're doing scripture memorization, which is um, a huge thing for she, she, that, sorry, that She Reads Truth promotes, is that we memorize scripture in order to understand it better, in order to share it and share the gospel. And so... This is great for you to kind of like to tape on your fridge or your mirror so you can continuously see it and recite it and do memorization of scripture. And then on the back, it tells you what's inside. Ephesians, that begins on 810. Today is 812. So we've been doing it for two days. Um, with the subscription, I get for free the um, actual study on the app so I can download the study on the She Reads Truth app for free and follow along there as well, which is great if you are on vacation and you don't want to take the book with you or you want to do your reading, let's say on your lunch hour at work or what have you, um, you can access the book on, your, on the app and the community on the app and um, be able to follow along that way. And so um, the box in august it tells us what's coming up next it says your box your august box will include the presence of god so that will be our next one so the reason why i am doing this a little late is because i usually um as soon as i get the box i show you guys the unboxing but i get a lot of questions of how i read through it so in the month of july instead of doing a unboxing when i received the she reads truth box i decided to hold off a little bit so i can kind of show you how i work through it as a subscriber, we sometimes get freebies. What they did, which I thought was so cute, cute, and I thought it was super cool, they did the Ephesians book in like a letter. So um, it's like a little pamphlet, and it says Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Now we know that the epistles are letters that were written to um, churches or people individually, and um, they did like a little pamphlet, which is so cool because they teach us, and I'll show you that a little further on. They teach us that the epistles, these letters were meant to be read fully in one sitting. And so this is kind of like in a letter format. It's such a cute pamphlet. I thought it was very neat. I'm actually going to use it to tuck it in my Bible. And um, Ephesians is a really good book. So I love that I get to have this little keepsake from it. So it included that. And again, this was um, a freebie for the subscribers. I always have, and I know I rave about this commentary so much. I When I'm studying, I always have the Tony Evans commentary with me. Um, before I had the Tony Evans one, I used Matthew Henry. And, um, and sometimes you, there's apps that are also commentary. So don't feel like you have to run and buy this. Although many of you have brought this because I have recommended it. But if you cannot buy this or um, you don't want to spend the money, you can also find uh, Bible commentaries through free apps on, you know, on your phone. Just Google some and you can find some as well. So I use the Tony Evans Bible commentary when I study. And then lastly is the book of Ephesians. Now, I get a lot of questions about this as well. I do, this book does not come um, spiral bound. I do spiral bound my books because it is easier um, for me to study that way. And I can show you how. When I am sitting down at my table, or let's say I'm reading on my couch for that day, I can open up the book and just write, like put it on my lap, write kind of harder when it is um, a binded book because you kind of have to like um, 
open it up. You can't fold it over. Um, I just prefer it. I prefer to have it spiral bound. So I do have all of my books spiral bound. Um, I get these done at Staples for about $7. So every time I get the book, I take it to Staples. Um, if I go early in the morning, I can get it same day. If not, I just leave it there and pick it up the next day. And then I have it spiral bound. And this way I can um, have a little more accessibility. It's great. I take a lot of notes within the study book. So it's great for that as well. So we have Ephesians. We always have a letter from the editor. And then they always show us the design on purpose. So basically, um, what made them choose the aesthetic of this book for this month? Uh, the photography, the sometimes it's not photography, sometimes it's artwork. Uh, the Even the font, it tells us this is the type of font we use and this is why. Um, here they're talking about the cement texture that's infused with marble, granite, quartz, and glass chips. Um, reminds us of a key theme in Ephesians, the diverse body of Christ is unified in the same spirit. So they're talking about how this photography, this piece of um, pottery and art has a different mix of infused of marble, granite, quartz, glass chips, etc. And they're saying this. there's a purpose that we pick this because this reminds us of how in Ephesians they talk about the diverse body of Christ and how all unified we create this beautiful artwork. So I love that. I love that everything is done with a purpose. There's a thought between behind everything that they're doing at She Reads Truth. So these books are not just thrown together. It kind of gives you a layout if you're new of how to do this. It shows you this is what it looks like on the app. You have day one, day two, so on and so forth. There's also devotional content um, done by some of the ladies at She Reads Truth and some guest uh, art authors as well that you can find on the app. But um, again, I uh, love She Reads Truth, the actual study books, the devotional it's straight scripture in here and resources and maps and things like that, but there's no devotional content in here. You can read and follow along for free that devotional either on the app or for free online. Again, the book, the study book that you can download on the app um, comes with the script, the subscription. So you'll get the study book and the devotional on the app. But if you do not have the subscription, and you want to follow along for free on their website online you can follow along what it does is it gives you all of the scripture that we are reading for that day and then the devotional content so it won't be in this type of style but it'll give you all the scripture which is the same scripture we will be reading on that day and then you can go on and also read the devotional on there so so there's the contents um it shows you the table of contents, what they're doing week by week. It shows you all of the extras. I kind of, um, the week by week, I don't check off because I know I'm doing it on a daily basis. But the extras, as I am reading and um, going into depth in every single one of the categories, I do check them off just so I know that I am using all my resources and the extras within the book and not just reading um, these dates. Uh, don't necessarily always go together. So I like to just check them off to know that I am getting in all the goodness of this book. So this is one of the extras, which is basically She Reads Eph Ephesians. And as you can see, I underline, I take notes. This is kind of the way I study verses. I break them down. Um, for example, the verse that we had read for you are saved by grace through faith and this is not yourselves it is god's gift not for not from works so that no one can boast and so i underlined grace and then i put grace of god because it's we are saved by the grace of god so kind of just breaking it down a little bit further and then here i have faith underlined and i'm like in jesus christ so it's we are saved by the grace of god through faith in jesus christ so uh, adding it a little bit more, it also helps me to um, memorize scripture and also to share it. So I do family Bible study in my home, which we, I call family worship. I know a lot of you know that I do that here in my home. And when I study the Bible, I really have to break it down. And sometimes this may seem like, oh, well, that's, you know, common sense or this is really well known. Yes, but I break it down like this. So when I share scripture with my family, I can break it down to their level. 
So um, with my kids mainly. And so, and this is not for itself. It is God's gift. And then right here I put God's gift to us is that we are saved by grace. And then we are God's gift to his son. So God's gift to us is that we are saved, are being saved. And God's gift to his son, Jesus Christ, is we are his gift. And not from work so that no one can boast. And I just underlined this last part and I put the glory is all God's. So um, as I was reading this bottom part, on this bottom part, there's a timeline. So it shows on the timeline a little background and then it has some information message on purpose and give thanks for the book of ephesians and then within here it also has scriptures i also underline things things that kind of pop out at me i use all the space within the book so i'm taking notes and kind of writing it down um this helps me if i'm later on looking a little bit further i can um reference to this they're also underlined down here but i like them in big so i can memorize rewriting things actually helps me memorize things so uh, you'll see a lot of that in this book so this is another extra how to read new testament letter these are all the goodies that come within the study book that you will not get online online they have the day-to-day -day, um scriptures that we are reading and the devotional but then the extra content like this how to read a new testament letter and um background information all of this is included in the book so um, so it basically just goes through how to read it. And I'm just going to go through a couple of these so you can kind of see how much in depth they go. So a New Testament letter is called an epistle. And I just wrote that really big so I can remember. And um, reading a letter can be listening to can be like listening to one side of the conversation. And then it goes on into depth about that. Letters were meant to be read all at once. And it, you know, goes into detail as to why and um most of the time they also add biblical references so they're not pulling this out of a hat they are actually backing this by scripture which i love the new testament letters were written to believers learning to live in christian community instructions were often tailored for a specific audience new testament letters draw heavily on the old testament the new testament letters were all written to people learning to follow christ and you'll see that i did a little doodling of um arrows because we are written to people that are learning to follow Christ. And I pointed it to Christ. The, again, these things, I do Bible journal. So these things kind of help me remember um, what I'm reading. And so I can uh, keep that in mind as I'm reading through this whole epistle. The New Testament letters are part of our family history. I put little hearts because family. And Jesus is the point. I put a cross, he is the point. And um, you'll see our underlying things as well. I do go back and reference these books a lot, especially if, um, let's say, later on in six months, they actually start having a sermon series in my church or the Bible study in my church correlates with whatever book. I will bring these books with me to church so I can have all of my notes. And um, it's just a great resource, guys. So this talks about unity in Ephesians. The common theme in Ephesians is unity. So it talks about that here of how it is in Ephesians. And then it goes ahead and it breaks it down on what does the Bible say about unity as a whole. So it breaks down. We have Ephesians here. It breaks down Psalms, Romans, Matthew, Acts, 1st of Corinthians, and then finishes off with Ephesians. So in all of these parts of the Bible and more probably, we can see what the Bible talks about unity. And again, all broken down and backed by scripture. Love that. So I'm not really going to get into depth about day one and day two. Today is day three that I will be going through. Um, I'm not going to go into depth, but I just want to show you my note taking. So You'll see I underline, you know, simple things like Paul and epistle. And then I made a little arrow, author, you know, to the faithful saints of Christ Jesus at Ephesians, Ephesus, sorry. And then you'll see that I put the recipient. So kind of just little notes that are going to keep me, um, that are going to keep me in tune with reading. And this is what my kids tell me that my little teaching habits come in where I'm actually doing what we call context clues. So I am always using those type of reading um, habits 
as I'm reading the Bible. So you'll see underlines. I don't really highlight. I do use my highlighters, but I underline more the scripture and just, you know, little notes here and there, breaking it down. I usually leave the notes um, for when after I'm doing like my in-depth study, after I do a little bit more of that. And then you'll see more here. I did some notes, highlighting, and then here I did a lot of breaking down. And so not only are we looking at Ephesians, that part of Ephesians that we are reading in that epistle, but we're also looking at coordinating scripture that backs that section of Ephesians that we are studying for that day. So that is it. That is a look at what Ephesians looks like. Um, I hope that you do join us. If you don't have the book, go ahead and join us online. Go online to shereadstruth.com. Um, look it up. They have the daily scripture there and the devotional. It really is a blessing. I'll leave my referral link for She Reads Truth below just in case you do want to join us through the book or you want to uh, subscribe to later on. It does give you a discount on your first book. I always tell everybody, try a book first before you subscribe. And you can buy books as they go if you like the theme or topic or what have you. Or you can subscribe and get them all. But I always tell them, try one book and then go ahead and subscribe. That way you can kind of get a gist for what's happening. Thank you so much for joining me guys today. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Leave a comment below for any questions or um, comments that you have for me. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless, guys.